Be aware, medical marijuana is not allowed on the ship, nor is it uh, recreational. We made it! Yes, we did! We made it to our cruise, now we're heading up, and we're getting our steps in. Don and Diane wanted us to take the elevator. I said, no, we gotta get our steps in. You gonna say hi? Wait, I, I, I'm gonna get Don and Diane in here. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Mardi Gras. What are you for I don't know. I'm I'm walking. I'm not drinking, and I'm eating just fruit and vegetables. <laughs> All right, we'll sign back on. So we're checking in right now. It's crazy here. This terminal is Terminal Three. Let me show you the uh, check-in process. Carolyn's checking us in. Welcome to the Mardi Gras. Hopefully we get our 10,000 steps in. I'm get, I'm really concerned. But Andrea thinks we're gonna be okay, right? Oh yeah. Picture moments. Blame it on a drink package. <laughs> oh shit, what did I do with my boarding pass? Yeah. Yep. We're heading on the ship. I hope we can get our 10,000 steps in today. Go straight, honey. Oh, this guy's got the same idea we got. All right, we love this ship. That's a great ship. All right, thanks for coming along. Now we're boarding on the gangplank. Walking the gangplank, and then we get on the ship. We're gonna try to get to our room and drop our bags off, if we can. And then maybe we can get our 10,000 steps in. That'll be the plan. Here we are. Hey! Are we on a celebration? <laughs> are we on a <the> celebration? <laughs> oh. Mardi Gras and Celebration look very much alike. They're, uh... That's right, the car's gone. But Mardi Gras and, uh... The Celebration are, uh, sister ships. So...
All right, well, uh, we're gonna try to get our 10,000 steps in. So the first thing we do when we get on the ship is we go to our muster station. So we're heading to the muster station now. We'll go through muster process and then uh, drop the bags off. All right, you know we're gonna hit the 10 grand on this cruise. Our muster was in the casino. What's the chance of that? Right across from the bar. So if we happen to uh, run into a problem, I'm already gonna be there. Yes. All right, we gotta, we gotta head upstairs. We're gonna take the stairs. Committed to no elevator. Working on getting those steps in. All the way up to deck 16 from five. Oh, eight, sorry. Here we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm telling you, this is good for us because this is Mediterranean food, right? It's called healthy food. I'm telling you, we're we're excited about it. this. is called uh, it's a tur Turkish kafta. Kafta. Hold on. Would you call it? Would you call it? It's a beef kebab, but it's basically what I call uh, kafta. Kafta. Awesome. Salad, tzatziki, and pita chips. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming along. Room. 16255. It's actually an awesome location. It's on the Lido deck. It is across from the uh, Stewart's room where they have elevators, internal elevators, and they do luggage and they do stuff over there. It's directly across from that. But that doesn't bother us. We, uh, we don't have an issue with that. It's a balcony room. You gonna say hi, Andrea? Welcome. So as soon as you come in the room, on your left is your AC controller. Blue is cold, red is hot. So if the room is too hot, hit the blue button. If the room is too cold, hit the red button. And if the door is open, which it was a few minutes ago, it shuts it off. Yeah, that's a good so point. It's kind of sweaty and That's a very good there. point. That... Uh, if you open the if you open that balcony door, the AC will shut off. We have these night lights right here. I don't know, you know, you can do all kinds of funky stuff with that. You know what I mean? Um, you got light switches here. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights on. All right, come on. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. And then you got these nice other background lights for reading. The TV. I got the Andrea over here pushing me. So I know I showed the light over there, the night light, night light here. But what I failed to show you was there's an actual USB to plug your phone in on both sides in room 16255. The TV's nice. It shows you your names. Usually she has it on my balance, but usually it says, welcome, Michael and Andrea. So what's key here is here's a light switch for that. And what's important here again is the electronics. I see so many room, you know, tours and they just show you the room. I really want to see the stuff that's important in the room. Here's two more USB. Here's two more USB. One, two, three plugs here. You have an internal phone if you need to call the front desk. There's water here if you want it, but it costs you $4.25. I typically don't get the water in the room. Um, out here is the balcony. In this room, by the way, is a uh, four-person room. And you can see the balcony. This is the view. We're in uh, Port Canaveral. And there is, in fact, a spaceship right over there that's going to be rocketing today. I guess 9 p.m. tonight. Now, what's really cool about this balcony, as I show you the image here, we get a little, we got a little extension here to keep the sun out, so it keeps some shade over here. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go back in. The other thing about this room, I said it was a four-person. Ah! You have to turn it down to move it. Well, oh, there's apparently. A... 
this thing here is uh nope, nope, all right. andrea is trying to come over and tell me but you see this thing up here that pulls down for a bunk so another person can sleep it'll come down and you can sleep there and then this couch converts into a bed so that's your fear four people one two three four but i think i went over most of the stuff in the room let's go through the bathroom We'll go into the bathroom real quick. Uh, you have your toilet. There is no uh, electrical in here. Like if you wanted to shave or anything that I can see. You know, and I don't know who the hell does that. I, I don't know who the hell does that anymore. That's only for shavers though. What's that? Oh yeah, European plug right there. So it's a European plug if you wanted to shave. I guess. I mean, I don't know who does that anymore, like I said. So, that's the only outlet in there. These lights, by the way, if you pull this card out, the lights will shut off. And the only way you can turn them on is hitting these switches. This card keeps the lights on. And then you've got tons of space. Tons of space in the closet. You got a safe. You get a little rack in there. So we usually pack. We're going on a 15-day cruise. We've got two carry-ons. And two backpacks. But the other thing that's cool about this, these shelves go up. You clip them in, then you can use that as a full length to hang stuff. And then say you want the shelves, you just hit this button right here and pull and down it goes so you can adjust these closets any way you would like based on what you have for clothing luggage etc but this isn't the greatest thing that i love about this or hi <laughs> all right let's get out of here but i'm going to show you what i really love about this room and that's the location so we're coming out of the room, we're taking a left. So we come we come out of the room, we come out of the room, and you take turn left, and that right there is the elevators and the Lido deck and then you go down the stairs and we're going to head over to the Havana right now trying to get our steps in it's, it's a slow day in getting the steps 16255 thanks for coming along we're heading to Havana right now balcony we got the sheriff down there letting this mariner of the seas go Woo! oh man this is the best Oh, they're part, they got their dance party going on right now. They're sail away. They got their sail away going. Look at the rock climbing wall. That rock climbing wall on it. Wow.
All right, so we're, uh, that's, so that's where we're heading now. We did too. I think she brings him along though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to this asshole. <laughs> Basically, the ship's turning around in this little space. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head straight out to the Atlantic Ocean. A couple of days, we'll be in San Juan. Thanks for coming along. So the captain turned this sucker right around. Now we're facing the Atlantic Ocean. And we're gonna head out there. That's where we boarded the boat. We boarded the boat right there. That was our uh, gangplank. Here we go. Wow. Huh. It's the same thing when we were in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. When we did that road to Hana, we did all kinds of stuff on that road. We didn't think about doing that in the last
We didn't see the whale statue in Juneau. When do, did you guys go to Soya Glacier? Last time? We took a bus to get there. A no, no, public no, no. public transportation. No, 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 no. Mendenhall. Mendenhall. Oh, Mendenhall. They, they drove. Oh, Mendenhall. I'm we took, sorry. We took a bus and then walked. Don't listen to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the victory cruise that Eric has been on before. That's that ship over there is called the Carnival Princess. <laughs> yeah. My daughter's been on this ship before. She loves, she loves this ship. sitting out here like in your little back of your truck having a couple of cocktails and watching the ships freaking come out you know it's actually pretty cool that's what these people are doing they're just, they're just hanging out watching the ships go out to sea so you got a big hand over there <laughs> yeah you see your big hand over there <laughs> the pilot. That means we're on our own. Well, that could have been the uh, pilot from the whatever the other one in front of us. Oh, no. We're, they, that's it. He set us on our way. Where The Atlantic Ocean is right here. We're gone. We'll find that guy.
Look at all those jellyfish. There are jellyfish everywhere. You wouldn't want to fall off the boat right now. You get stung to death. Well, coming out on, out on the balcony, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Well, din din time. So we're gonna head to dinner and hopefully we're gonna be good eating healthy food. Thanks for coming along. Here was our light dinner. Thanks for coming along Hubbard's journey. We greatly appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe. Take care. Happy cruising.